Oi, no, don't touch. Um, Okay. Hello and welcome to the Ghost Trick Phantom Detective demo. Chapter 1 Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not, anyway. Now I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot. But I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was, as I was thinking that... This is no time to be lulling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. What? The, the whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head. Who are you? No time for your introduction now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Eh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm. Just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul. Congratulations, your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what, now I'm a crossing gate? <clears throat> now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What, but how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, hey, hey wait a second, does he don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work, a ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated that object with a power of the dead, a ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press E. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has gun pointed at her. Hmm, yes. That's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghosts, possess an object and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. I see. A guitar then, is it? <clears throat> hey, what do you want from me? I would have preferred a giant rotting ball, that would be solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see that you can what you can do with the guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Uh, that's gonna be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what course close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is me. No time to be picky. I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... 
but what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Okay, go ahead. Uh, nothing happens. Exactly, sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've got to be kidding. Wait, wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and you for future. Out of my way. It's done. I'm on my way. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged, so what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy. What happened tonight? Ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I would say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost trick didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you, anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the deck, desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women laying around, discarded like trash. Now, and number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. That foot bubble you just pressed, those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So that they don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And Q is your ticket in. The best thing to do is try it. Okay, I guess I'll press it. By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of your screen? What about it? It tells you what 
trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in this case of this folding cut, it looks like I can unfold it and to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, C is your ticket out of the ghost world. Oh, good luck! We're counting on you. Eh, who's this we? That's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know? So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway... Congratulations, you passed! Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power! What else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now that... Sh now what do you do suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all? True! You don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a I minute, mean, what's going, going on here? Hmm, it looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yeah, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, that this clamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Uh, sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time far, four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy, none of this makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Uh, hey, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as, but as a very real, living present. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing wood, who didn't? Right now, uh, you ought to be more concerned about your own friend. Who are you? What sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to wrap all, out all the last traces of Thames, Thamesik left in this country. Thamesik? What in the world is that? Beat me, I just do what I'm told. All I know is, you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all 
I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and you don't and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Hold it. Who's there? A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for Hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just for... They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my break it away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. It. The last four minutes of her life? No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick. And you can rewind this four minutes as many times as you like, too. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Their corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So, naturally, your side point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. And then there are only four minutes left before she dies. You had better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like you better get up there fast. That's right. Have a good look at the right side of the screen. The right side, eh? The sand in the top of that timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly, before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. So I can use both Q and C. I don't have to do one. Uh oh, her time is running out. So it's either one, not both. Just a few more steps, hope I hope I make it in time. To ch chance to change her fate. There isn't much time left, this is coming down to a battle of seconds. Damn. 
alert. What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. It looks like you made it in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! The bridge is up! You said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. But there isn't much time left, depending on what you do. There's still a possibility of failure. I don't want to think about failure right now. No, of course not, but still, if you ever feel like you want to start over, just stop out before time runs out. Hello, you never know. You might learn a thing or two when time runs out too. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But right now, I'll better go after those two. No, no way. I bet you're wondering what's going on over there, right? Oh, that's right, if I want to look at the screen. Exactly. You hear something? How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did it, and I knew you could do it. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. When I came back to the present, it was raining. I had saved the life of the stranger, now sitting forlorn in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. A stranger, that word strikes a chord and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, ray on ray of light in the darkness. <laughs> ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. Uh, I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the, uh, to the dead, and that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute, those... these powers of the dead? Yes? I would like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. 
if we could use ghost tracer to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. You we'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate. Right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that. You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. The person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right, and not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I would say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? Well, that woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you gain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea! Press X to view a record of what you've learned. And be sure to check it out now and then again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Updated the phone book. Alright then, I wish you good luck. all by itself and then an umbrella came down all by itself oh my goodness don't tell me i have a psychokinetic powers we're done Seriously, what in the world just happened? Yeah, sealed from the corpse script. What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. Note about that brought it Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... Hmm, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you realized where this telephone call is running from? Eh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in at around this time too? 
<laughs> oh yeah. It's done. I'm on my way. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment, on the other end of this telephone line, is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess the type telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of the ghost tricks. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Hmm, yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing ina inanimate objects. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... That it can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can do to help you. You have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do that. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise more help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Eh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I ask anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This S-Clamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from what call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. Hmm. And so the story of the search for myself begins, a story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Yes? Can we continue? Chapter 2 Who am I? Why was I killed? The, wo the one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting is all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Mm, yes, if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. Confront, confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Mm, yes, but I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite a tease it there for a moment. 
What is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it will give me some information on my red head. Hmm, yes, how much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope. Confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? It seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't treat it when it's closed. Great, Scott! Did you see that? The file! I say, the file reared up and snapped at me. My good man nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lane, is no longer a threat, sir. Ah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file... It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Darn, this is a pickle the fool and I got put away neatly, and the only thing I've learned is the name Lin. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? God, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Ah, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just a plain off, confounded. Mm, yes. In any case, I don't wish to see the face of the current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. Is that okay? In that case, may I suggest this, sir? Hey, that's... Hmm, yes, Cecil. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford trusted Cecil. No, we must be very careful. Cecil. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could it be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> one thing's clear, these... Oh, one thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seem to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Where 
Where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? I say, this one is giving me the heebie jeebies, my good man. What with painting spinning around and the like, it's enough to give him the jitters. My apologies, sir, the room was just completed recently. Sir, we are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Mm, yes, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, a good man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? No. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be started by a telephone that doesn't even ring! It's even more pathetic to be started by the same telephone twice. Ah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead, then go to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the darkest apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead. Now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the equipment division. Ah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott. Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it. You're even hanging up one step ahead. Okay, so now we can try to learn this apartment. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some so so of nearsighted Jigos pay. Lynn, I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. So let's go to her apartment. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm, it looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. The poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lin came home now, I have to do something about the situation and fast. Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Hi. Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress' apartment, and you are... Presumably, the little dog who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! 
Miss Camilla, why Miss Camilla is in trouble? You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, a missile! Nice to meet you! I'm a Bomberinian! Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress' safety than your own death? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to uh, four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his li this his life. Let's see. First of all, I will better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Uh, you followed me. I followed you! You brought me with you! Or... One or the other? Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're already here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled for time and... But especially... I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards for time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course, leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. <laughs> You found the remote. Shut that mud up. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crappier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. You don't want to hurt to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Uh, why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to music. Oops! Oh. Yeah, that was close. I'm in the mood for the last night. Swall down! Hmm, I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop out. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. They guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Look at that! I'm kind of shocked. To tell the truth? Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see. How are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she puts this thing, the red things on, does it? I can call her name until my front is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. 
Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. things down. Hey, I think you're onto something there. If you drop them in the fish tank, we won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you obviously never see Miss Lynn when she gets mad. That's funny. That's wrong. The cell phone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line grows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm. Looks like you can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before that fault. hit her with the cabinet doors. Uh oh, this isn't good. Miss Camilla, put the shot things on her. Yeah, I know, and once she gets them on, it's over. She won't be able to hear a thing. And I do. So this has to be <laughs> Unless it will work with uh, when she holds the headphones because I cannot even do no I really hoped I could hit her with the cabinet door, but apparently no. those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Darn, no, I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla, I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us.
style. If you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Michelle? Of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yeah, I was by my own behavior, but when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all up her. And when I bark, this guy always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm, you won't be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? Oh! Whenever the dumb falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Yes, yeah, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So, in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Shh. Oh no no no. That's not what I wanted. Can I go anywhere from here? Not really. Go. <gasps> the question is, do we want her here or do we want her here? I think. But from, um, no oh, wait. Wait. No. So, nothing about the lamp. kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. <laughs> really? Thank you. Box. What she doesn't want the donuts anymore. Because frankly, I'm out of ideas. She noticed the box. How?
Yeah. Honestly, it looks kinda useless when we are here. I have no idea what to do now. I can make another don't fall. What do we know? Now the donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't work. Hmm, it looks like only one donut will fall. But the donut's the only bait that will eat the little lady the way we want her. Maybe I should be thinking about of that. But where do you want her? Just let's see what happens now because frankly I have no idea what to do. Listen up, little girl, I'll make you a deal. If you promise to keep quiet, I'll let you live. For now, anyway. But I guess this playful fellow refuses to accept our deal. Well, no! Mm, it doesn't seem like he can stop the intruder from coming in. And I guess this little doggy doesn't have much fighting power. People often tell me my name doesn't suit me. I guess the only thing to do is hide our little lady someplace where the hitman can see her. Hmm, I would better rewind, rewind time and think about this one. Okay, but I think I'm gonna end this, end this for now. It's pretty lengthy for a demo. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!